All right, all right, all right. Okay, let me just flick this across to here so I can see comments. I hope everyone's doing fantastic today. We are back with a really exciting picture. This is, voila, two horses. Granny, I hope you're doing fantastically. I see a lot of names here, Wilkie, Bob. I hope you're all doing great. Justin, Justin, I hope you're looking after yourself. You haven't seen this little wild thing here? We started it on Instagram. It's very, very basic right now. I'm coming in with a fun piece. Excuse the hat on my head. There's not normally a hat on my head, but it works on two levels. First off, I'm having a bad hair day. Give it 10 minutes, it'll flatten down. And second off, number two, is that the hat says Wild Horse Rescue. And I'm painting two horses. You can't tell right now, it's too abstract, but we'll get there. So, lots of energy, lots of movement. We've done our few bits of dark and medium colors, but we've got coming back in is our medium, not medium grays, I don't know why I was gonna say that. I was gonna say light colors. So, light colors are fun. How am I doing, Jeffrey? I'm doing fantastically. Now, let's get a bunch of yellows. The thing about it right now, guys, is, 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 we've loaded it currently, a little bit of blue, a lot of reddish shades, and the thing about the reddish shades is it's finished off this little loop of two primary colours. So, by pure chance, it's not because I intended for it, but we're going to add in the final primary colour, the yellow. Finger heart, thanks holy cow, appreciate you. Mm. I'll tell you what, I don't know if I'm in the majority, but I probably am here. When I say, I've had that song stuck in my head by uh, Pedro Pascal. Make your own kind of music. Um, I doubt you can ever have... <laughs> well, you wait. I'll tell you what. After this hat has been on for a few minutes, my hair will be beautiful and flat, just the way I like it. Guys, at the end of the day, don't worry about the rest of the world. It's how you feel about it. And in this case... I feel like I'm having a bad hair day. So I'd like to correct it. And I'm in that process. I'm in that process. I'll dance, dance, dance. Oh, this whole area here is going to be yellow. Come on. This is the undercoat. We're going to see where it takes us. We've got way more to go. Way more to go. Then you get there. Fantastic. Now it's not just raw yellow. It's a mixture. We've got a little bit of blah. Oh, fantastic. If watching me be a niplet in front of this canvas and building up these layers with the expressive energy that I believe every canvas craves, needs, and deserves, then that's fantastic. Oh, Jessica. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, and you have a great night. It's only 3 p.m. here. I'm only just getting started. Let's get it started. Yeah. Let's get it started in here. Um, but I do need to jump off when visitors get home. So you've got me for about an hour or two maybe, which is plenty of time. We're gonna slam out these colors. We're gonna grab some more shades of uh, blue and we're gonna see where that takes us. And I can't wait. Make your own kind of music. Dun, 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 dun. And now in these early coats, guys, I'm going to make sure I add the expression in. When I was doing the first layers, do I ship to the States? Of course I ship to the States. In fact, most of the Sarah I've done in Chicago, New York a few times, Washington, D.C., um, Atlanta, Georgia, Pennsylvania. We're slowly getting through the States. Um, when you message, the best way to do it is to do it on the link in the bio. In the link in the bio, there's a commission thing. Let me know the size you're after and the um, location you are. And from there, I'll be able to tell you as well, I'll be honest, if you're the first collector in that state. I'm not sure if you like that, but I think that would be pretty cool. And it's okay. If you've got no idea, say it. Me and you can brainstorm something cool together. Who's that there? Hello, hello, Matt. How are we doing? Like the emojis, Matt. 
very slick. All right. Make your own kind of music. Chucking in a bunch of white in with it. Here we go. Hello. Now, just because it's a white canvas doesn't mean we're not going to use a little bit of white. And those negative space areas, they can be deceiving. They're the areas that want the most attention. That's what we're after. Yeah, pink. I can see this being right up your... Uh, am I in a garage? I am. And you know the other thing? It's not even my garage. Me and Shelby are staying with a friend, and this is his garage. And I was painting outside, but as you may be able to hear on the roof, it's now raining. And I have no chance to paint inside, outside. So here I am. This is me. Out here. Just under the garage shelter. Now, when I stood back and looked at this work this morning, I thought, actually, I'm getting too much realism into it. And you'd be like, realism? I can't even tell what he's painting. Um, there's too much realism in it right now. And what I mean is right now, I can start to make out a little bit of the forest and two horses. No good. You don't want to see the real stuff when you first start. You want to lose yourself in abstract, wild color and then pull the realism out of it later on. Um, can you guys hear me with the rain or is it a little bit tippy tippy? Here we go. Just come through here. Make your own kind of music. Um, I hope you have a great day by the way, Pink. It's been a while. <laughs> There we go. Looking good. Rick Air. I just heard New Zealand number one happiest place to live on earth. Cheers. Thank you very much. I'm just hearing about that too for the first time. I'm shocked. This is exciting news. You'll have to excuse this rain. We've got a bit of a shower coming over. It's the rain. It's on the roof. <laughs> Maybe we didn't live in such a rural area. Part of the fun though, guys. Part of the fun. And a lack of controllability when it comes to art. You never know what's going to happen. Are you going to get noise on a tin roof? Are you going to mix the colours wrong? Is the humidity going to be too intense? Is it going to change the way the paint flows? Who knows what battles we'll run into today. But honestly, if your craft it gets a little stale, it's sometimes fantastic to throw just a little bit of chaos in there. Chaos is good. Just a little bit of chaos though. Chaos in moderation. Make your own kind of music. Dun, 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 dun. Lots of blue now, guys. Lots of blue. Here we are. your own kind of Hello. All right. We're 
we got next? Where is the blue gun? Yeah, there we go. Make your own kind of music. I'll get that song out of my ears, but it needs to stop playing on every single TikTok video. Comments, guys. I will get them, I promise. But I also want to make sure I'm capturing these layers of the horse. Is that rain or wind or both? There is zero wind, but there's a lot of rain. So we're dealing with rain, which is all good. So let's see here. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love the dance and the jumps he does. He's just so happy. Guys, there's two levels to it. The first level is I need energy behind the brush strokes. I don't need lethargic, weak brush strokes. This painting's gonna exist forever, or at least for a number of years. Head off. So, if it's gonna exist for a long time, I've got to make sure that every stroke gets all the energy it needs loaded into it. Because it's permanent. If I go into it lethargically, then my lethargic, low energy attitude is going to exist in that paint for however long the painting exists for. That's not what we want, that's not how we want to make art. If this piece is going to authentically capture a little bit of happiness, a little bit of joy, a little bit of vigour, a little bit of vibrancy, and be authentic about it, and I need to give it that on inception. Right. Where were we? I hope you guys agree with me. Make your own kind of music. Alright. We need possibly just a little bit more black. And we're gonna keep dabbling with these colours for a little bit longer. Well, actually, I'm gonna combine that blue into that yellow, make myself a nice poppy green. Not poppy like flower, but poppy like a, a nice poppy color. There we go. Um, if, you're, if you can see it, guys, there's a little stain here on the floor. It was yours truly. Uh, what I did was I actually ended up doing some reels, getting too excited and kicking over my coffee. So, such is life. Ha, <laughs> JEC. First off, it's been a while and I hope you're looking after yourself. Absolute pleasure to see you. And second off, as you know, I love the support. You're an absolute champion. And I hope you're looking after yourself up there in Canada. It's cold here in New Zealand. And I did think to myself, you know what? I've got no excuse to moan. Because my friends in Canada are always colder than I think I am. So, there's that little factor. We're going to shrink the brush down a little bit now, guys. There we go. That is a very good brush, but we're going to go for just a little bit smaller. Ah, sorry. 
<laughs> oh, cheers, JC. JC, you're an absolute champion. I know I should. Uh... I get into the habit of saying JC. I like it. Um, also, this is acrylic paints. So when I say uh, um, acrylic paints, I'm combining in a lot of heavy gloss gels and transparent mediums. And it's making the paint flow far more like oil paints, which is what I want. Which is what I want. Hey Raj, hope you're doing well. And Ivan, good to see you again. Hope you're looking after yourself. Absolute pleasure to see you all again. I know it's been a while. I've been jumping backwards and forwards between TikTok and Instagram, and it's great to be back here again. Um, currently, I've had a few wild cards that have mixed things up a wee bit with me. Thanks, JC. I've uh, been moving around a wee bit, and also, if you might notice, if you click on the link in the bio, it's just New Zealand news, but you know what? Still news. And I was on the news. So, at what we were on the, we, well, we were on the news actually, because they got excited about the love and the joy and the everything that we're spreading here and the positivity of it, and made a cute little article about it. So, kudos to everyone here. Pretty fun. And Jay-Z. I love you to bits, you absolute legend. Okay, I'm at work. Good for you. Live that dream, work hard. I'm doing great. Sending a giant thank you, my painting is here, and I am JMS. I've got you sitting there. I was in the post shop yesterday, and it said it had um, it had arrived, and I was like, I hope he loves it. I hope he loves it, I haven't heard from him, does he love it? And I was just mustering up the courage. I was gonna send you an email tonight. Oh, that's good news. I'm so glad. Ah, oh, you've got to send me a picture of it. It's been too long since I've seen it. And what's really cool is we have another piece coming almost exactly like your one. Not in the, um, not, not obviously not the picture, but it's another piece that's called uh, A City Different. It's the same size as your one, and it's going to be the same style. So what's cool about this is that people from around the world start asking for landscapes the same size as your one. You've got the original, and I love that. I love that. Uh, Enki, yeah, yeah, on the news. Why? Because you guys, because we're here making people happy and that's fantastic. Honestly, guys, I can't thank you enough for what we've made here. This is like, it, it blows me away sometimes. It really does. Can't express it. JMS, I... I mean, this is hard because it's live right now and everyone's watching me, but I get the feeling and I, was, I had this hope. It's, it's like sort of when you, it's when you ask your high school crush out, you know, your heart's fluttering. I saw something in that painting and I'm really, really glad that, that you're seeing it too because that, that was a really special work for me and I'm glad you feel the same way. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Hello, Destroid. Destroid, I've got some replies there, but I didn't want to thunder on um, all of them in one day. So I've given replies to each one of your things, but I've got them saved in my drafts. And so no one gets an entourage of my content. I've got your stuff coming out over the next few days. And we'll be all sorted. Um, guys, how rude of me, actually. This is a new picture here. This is two horses. I'm going to show you the black and white one, because I don't want any of us affected by the color of it yet. 
The colours are very green, but um, this is what we're working with. Here's the two horses. They're running through uh, what would be a green environment, but at the moment we're just capturing the wild colours in whichever shade we can. Ah, I can't help myself. I'll show you the full colour version. Hold on. Here we go. This is our full colour version. This is what we're capturing. Now our colour palette, once we're finished, is going to be very, very similar to what it was with uh, two horses that we gave to Matt in uh, Auckland here. But in this case here, we're changing up a little bit. We're capturing a lot more movement in this photo. So Matt's one had this serene, relaxing, yet lively, vibrant nature to it, where you'd look at it and be like, huh. This one's gonna have a, oh, um, with, this, with this energy bouncing out of the brush strokes. That's what we're after here. Um, have you moved up to Auckland yet? How are you liking it? Anki, I am in Auckland now. I'm an Auckland boy. I'm an Auckland boy now for a while. I'm enjoying it, but I'll be honest with you, Anki. I'll be honest with you. I missed that Corona studio. That was a cool studio. If any of you were for, uh, about around for the Corona times, we will be back in that studio intermittently, but uh, I miss that. I miss that a lot. So, my passion is a gift. I'll be honest with you guys. I think, the, uh, I think everyone has something in their lives that they are as passionate about paint, uh, that they can be as passionate about as I am about painting. Um, I've done other jobs, I've done other roles, and I've been in other places. But honestly, the joy I get from getting colored liquid out of a tube, putting it on a plate, grabbing it with this rudimentary tool and applying it to the surface is something so unbelievably pleasurable for me. And then to have other people get fulfillment from it, this is my dream. This is what I love to do. There is, there, there is no second. So with that in mind, I believe every person has something in their life that they may have come across or maybe not even have discovered yet. And maybe it's not just a craft, maybe it's a family ties, maybe it's a person, maybe it's a, a place, a dream, a, a goal. We've all got something like that in our lives. Now, all I can do is let me just be the little ever ready battery that encourages you to find that in your own life. It's probably not painting. It's probably not uh, arts and crafts at all. It's probably not dance, it's probably not music. It can be whatever you want it to be. But it's out there. You're a human, you know how to love. And loving is one of the greatest things in this world you can do. And if you can find the thing you really love and then pursue it, no matter how far you go with it, the journey will be immensely satisfying. I know it sounds cheesy, but tell me I'm wrong. I'm not, it's a fact. Um, what's the hardest piece you've ever painted? Honestly, all paintings go through ebbs and flows. So there's no one piece which was just a challenge from start to finish. There's challenging points in certain pieces. And we have to work through those points. And when we run into them, I'll be honest about it. I'll talk through it with you guys. I'll tell you where the challenges are and how I'm grappling with them. Um, and we'll try and make meaningful steps towards actually um, rectifying those challenges. Um, and sometimes they can be challenges that we've created on the canvas due to little mistakes or human things that we've done. And other times, other times, it can be just the way we feel. With creativity, it's not a matter of just charging. It's not like a sport where you can just load yourself up and just go for it, you know? Um, sometimes creativity and sometimes getting the job done can be a matter of stopping. It can be a matter of waiting. It can be a matter of unpacking where you are and repacking it and consolidating who you are to approach it correctly. Because when you're working with chaos and a painting is pure chaos, you can't just demand that chaos becomes order. You can, only, you can only try and craft the chaos gently in the direction you want it, but chaos is gonna do whatever it wants. Whatever it wants. So, I always say, and I'm being honest, I'm not just lying, I'm, be, I'm being 100% honest. I have no idea how a painting is going to turn out. I have no idea. But what I do know is that if I forget what the ending is going to be, 
and I focus entirely on what I want the process to look like, what I want the process to be, the love, the uh, energy and the vigor I want to put behind the process, I know that even though I don't know what it looks like, I'm going to be happy with the result. So that's a hard thing. By fully relinquishing control, you actually get the result which you wanted. So by strangling it and demanding the result, you'll never get it. That's the... That's the ultimate paradox of painting, or the ultimate paradox of this form of art. And I would argue all forms of art. Um, oh, thank you, Wandering Rai Rai. Appreciate that. And Anki, thank you so much. Thank you, Crystal. You're all fantastic, guys. Um, and recreating... Oh, thanks, Steve. You absolute... Steve, there we go. This is awesome. Colors are so vibrant and happy. You love it. Fantastic. So... We're in the current early stages at the moment. We're going wild with the paint. Now, what's really fun about this one is this one's going to be similar to Steve's painting Mahalo. The difference is going to be that we're not painting water. We're doing nature. So this is almost the earth version of Mahalo. We've got two horses running. We don't have a surfer. That's okay. We've still got a mammal, an animal, doing something, moving in a landscape. So in this case, we've got horses, mammals, moving through forests. And with Mahalo, we had a surfer, a human, moving through the wave. So, it's a loose connection, but there is going to be a connection between the two, only in the form of the brush strokes and painting style being quite similar, due to the backgrounds, the way the forest blurs, and the way the wave was moving, being fairly similar. So, if you're really vigilant, you might be able to see parts of the horse saying to come out here, but if you can't, don't worry, you're in the majority. So, we will see we'll see where we can get to. Um, I'm going to need to keep applying this green and you'll see that I've really avoided adding green to the background guys. The green's going to be, the background's going to be green but if I embellish it with just green I'll never capture those other brilliant crisp colours that actually make up that background. When you look at something like a sky and you just see blue you miss out on the opportunity that's there. You miss out on the greens the reds, the yellows, the crimsons, the magentas, the teals, the everything else that, make, that makes the sky what it is. And if you, say when you look at the, if you say when you look at the sky, I don't know what Seb's talking about, I just see grey, or I just see blue. I need you to keep looking. I, I, I can't tell you how to swap that perspective, but I know that if you don't stop looking, you've got a better chance of seeing it and if you deny the fact that it could ever exist. Because there's more colours and things than what we see. Atlanta, Georgia here. Hello, Christopher. How are we doing? Christopher, I've got some exciting news for you. There is a piece on its way to you. It is a large piece. Well, actually, it's a medium-sized piece. It's 36 inches by 48 inches. It's going to Atlanta, Georgia. And it's the one Treasure State. And I'm in love with that painting. That painting is phenomenal. That painting captured everything we set out to capture. Um, I've started this one now almost directly after Treasure State because honestly, guys, after Mahalo leaving the studio, after Treasure State leaving the studio, there's this void in me. There's this void in me. I'm not being cheesy about that. I'm meaning we've hit two amazing home runs with those two pieces in terms of their vibrant expression. We had uh, Scott and Craig, and we also had the family portrait, and they were fantastic to do as well. But after this little wind streak we've been on, what can happen is you can actually nosedive and head into a rut. And so to try and alleviate that and avoid going from perfect, perfect fail, I started a new piece almost immediately afterwards. So I can start building layers and in effect, start falling in love with a new piece. Um, because the best way to get over an old relationship is to start a new one. <laughs> That's not true. Don't listen to the flight. That's, that only counts for paintings. Um, anyway, here we are. Let's chuck this in here. Um, for the record, the best way to get over a relationship, guys, is to actually be single and figure out who you are as a person. Um, and what that will do is it will consolidate the friendships that you have in your life. It will consolidate your own information about your own self-worth. Um, hello, Mizell. 
Long time no see, yeah. So I have been going live on a few platforms. I've been on Instagram a little bit, and I've also been uh, doing a few little swaps. A few little swaps. So you you would have found that uh, at the moment we're in a uh, garage. So it's one of my friend's places. So we're moving around houses at the moment. Me and Shelby have let someone live in our accommodation for how long? A couple of, I think a month or two. So what's happening right now is they're staying in our accommodation. We're free roaming, we're staying with some friends, we're moving around New Zealand, we're having a great time. And we're also going to end up going to Bada Bing Bang Bong Indonesia. That's the plan. So, in the not so distant future, once this painting's finished and shipped, I'll be starting the next painting in another country. And it's gonna be very, very fun. Right, let's get in here. More green, more green. Let's just get some of that in there, some of that in there, some of that in there. Fantastic coming on down here, there's a little bit coming in here. And then we've got coming down here, there we go. Monster of the Morgan. Fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> cheers, Angie. Um, I think she was joking. Um, and otherwise, you know what? I think I'd make a great news presenter, but you wouldn't hear any news. I'd just tell you all about my feelings and how I want everyone to be happy. And I don't know, they'll probably pull me into the office and restructure me out. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that was an incredible, incredible article for me to run. And I was so happy with actually how they made sure the whole angle was positivity and happiness. Um, there was a million ways we'd take that and they took it in the one most wholesome one. So congratulations to them. I love that. Yo, the There's a little more black that we're missing here, guys. So I'm just gonna capture that. More stuff, more tea, more tea. It's not the proper black that it should be, but that's okay. It's going to get most of the way there. Because I'll come back with a more rain. Yeah, sorry, Tom Tom. There's a lot of rain going on at the moment, but we'll get through it. I'm happy for you and glad everything. Oh, thanks, Marzell. Appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Here we go. Hello. So 
Sorry guys, just capturing a little bit of the city's black areas in here. More than I suspected there'd be, but I don't want to miss anything. Black's such a powerful colour. We've got to make sure we spread it right. Otherwise we run the risk of not actually capturing... I don't want to say the realism of an image, but there is a certain amount of realism that I want to capture before we let this image slip. I'm applying paint quite thick, so if I do go too far with this, I will need to let this painting dry. We're not there yet. But if we do fly too close to the sun and make this image just a little bit thick, then I may need to pause in order to let it dry. Transparent medium. Here we go. All right, fantastic. Where are we going next? Sorry guys, just concentrating here for a second. I capture these darker areas. Thanks for the rose, Dad. Appreciate you. There we go. Stir that up a little bit. Through here, through here. Through here. And now we're talking to it. Up in here. Guys, just need some of this paint down. Right. So we'll pause for a second. Grab a brush with no paint on it. And the trick's going to be now, I'm going to flatten off some of those ridges. So the reason why I don't want those ridges, guys, is when we start off wild and abstract, I need the canvas to be flat, so when I come on back later on and start adding that detail properly, 
I'm not going to be affected by the underlying texture. A few ridges are okay, but too many will affect the artwork. Just want to find those and just dismantle them gently. Bunch of this white to make myself a limeish green. We're back on our lime green. Let's see where this takes us. on horses. It's not what we're after. We're after capturing the shapes and tones that make up the image that we're looking at. Make sure that's finished off smoothly, guys, so we can come on back and do some proper work on it. There we go. Coming on down here, and coming on in here. Beautiful and sneaking on the hair. There we go. Woo. Hello, Lee. Hope you're doing well. And Shannon. You're a real actually. I missed that. <laughs> um, bye. Oh, Shannon. Okay. I'll see you later. Sorry. Um, I ran away from the comments for a little bit. Sorry, guys. I was uh, caught up doing some lime greens. I do that sometimes. I'll disappear for a period. Just get hard into the painting. But I'll always come back. <laughs> I'll always come back. There we go. Sneak that around there. We are team this work in the porridge. I'm gonna go for a little bit longer, but I don't want to turn this work into porridge. I want to turn it into two horses.
Up you come, up you come. Now we're talking. Now we're talking to it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's good. That was good. Hello, Rodrigo. I hope you're well. Um, and I come from Brito. Davey Brito. Hope you're looking after yourself. Of course I can paint you. Link in the bio. Uh, size and location. I'll come back to you with an estimate. Um, T, lovely to see you. T, I hope you're looking after yourself. What a pleasure to see you. Well, hear from you. I can't see you right now, but I hope you're well. And look at my mess. I made it myself. <laughs> um, we're working on two horses at the moment. Uh, let me, uh, there's a picture here, but I'll show you a better one, T. This is what we've got. How? So, two horses galloping. That's what we are making. Hello from Venezuela. I appreciate that. Hope you're well. Um, do you study the anatomy of animals or do you draw really? So, great question. You can study the anatomy of animals and that's okay. But for this right here, we are just focusing on painting the uh, shapes that we see. So in this case, to try and capture the true essence of this photograph, uh, all these animals themselves, knowing how to paint them or paint their species isn't going to help us that much because what's going to happen is we're going to avoid seeing shapes in preference of painting what, painting what we think we see. We don't want that. We want to paint what we actually see. That's fundamental. That's what we're after. And grab a bit more of that blue. Here we go. Come in here, up around the top here. Sneaking down here, and up around here. Not really shy with these colors, can hammer them on. Um, do you have any clothes without paint on them? That's a great question. The answer is not really. Um, I buy my clothes from op shops. This is what I've got. And typically, I get paint all over them and then I get some new ones from the op shop. It's a good system. I'm a big fan of it. And it's working well for me so far. So I'm not going to change anything. But yes, if you see me out in town, you can confirm it's me because there'll be paint all over my clothes. Um, and yes, sorry about the rain, guys. That makes it quite hard to hear what's being said. Hey B, how you doing? The rain's relaxing? This is good. I'm glad to hear. This is a knit for the team. Mm. 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 
And we're back. Perfect. Sorry guys, it uh, was giving me the low battery warning, but we're back. Alright. How are you? Oh, thanks Edward Edison. Appreciate that. Um, I am fantastic. Here in New Zealand, as it hammers down with rain. But that's okay. We're making it work. We're enjoying the sounds of rain on the shed roof. And we're just slowly, gently putting together these pictures of a horse. Make your own kind of music. Dun, 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 dun. Um, we are on, I say we, because it's going to affect us all. We're on 10% battery. So. I'm going to run these colors down, but we won't have time to grab a new color palette. Grab that black. We need onto our black now, guys. The definer. We're going for the definer. There we go. And a little bit more through here. And a little bit more down here. That's quite pleasant now, guys. I'm enjoying that rain. The soft touch, 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 touch on the roof. Okay. We're gonna pause there, team. We're tuning into a little bit of porridge, and that's okay. But we don't want to eat too much porridge. Just enough to be a definer. Just gonna smooth off some of these lumps again. I don't want these bumps. Sometimes, in the heat of the moment, we can apply the paint too thick, and that's okay. Come back and fix it so it's not going to affect our future layers. Towards the end, 
I'll add in a lot of impasto effects. And that'll take me to all sorts of fun places. But right now, I need a nice flat canvas. Perfect. Stand back and have a look. Yeah, we're in a great place. <laughs> it's pretty wild, but it's good. It's good. Um, all right. The phone's just died, which was taking the uh, footage for our reel, and we're on 2% on the iPad. We've just finished off this part here. We've got enough paint on it. If you look at it carefully, um, I'll spin it around the face, you guys, so you can see a bit of it. With our last little 2% of battery life. Here we go. So, it's pretty wild at the moment. Oh, that light's hitting it, phone. Hold on. Here we go. It's pretty wild at the moment. We want to get wilderness into it, and uh, this one here is going to be a whole bunch of wild colors to start with, starting abstract and coming back into realism. So, we've got our shapes a bit defined, our background's just as prominent, if not more prominent, than our horses, and we're starting to see elements of our horses coming through, but hopefully we can't make out the horses too much just yet. So, these things take time. Let me stand back with you guys and have a look see it. Yeah, that's a fun place to be. What's really going to make this painting pop is on about the fifth or the seventh layer, seeing the depth of colour in some areas, which will increase that movement right now. Right now it's expressive and it's wild, but then we want that movement that's going to have those horses moving through the space. That's what we're going for. Guys, thank you so much for joining today. You're all incredible people, and I really, really appreciate you joining me. Um, yeah, the company is so, so very, very welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Uh, appreciate you. Um, and appreciate you, JEC. You're an absolute champion. Matt, you're a champion. T, lovely to have you pop by today. Steve, good to see you. Everyone, what a pleasure. Okay, guys, if it doesn't rain, I might try and sneak out here tonight just to get some of the whites and uh, more mellow colors into this picture to smooth it off a little bit. But uh, you'll know that you don't see me that it kept raining. So here's to hoping. Let's see. Myzel, thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, guys, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great day or a lovely night. And I will see you tonight if it's not raining. Otherwise, tomorrow. Bye guys.